heavy fighting is continuing in the east of the country. The war is taking a terrible toll. Hundreds of Ukrainian troops and civilians are being killed or injured every day, mainly as a result of intense Russian shelling. Ukraine's medical services are under enormous pressure. And one British surgeon, David Knott, who has decades of experience treating war injuries, has been on the front line helping to train Ukrainian doctors. Our correspondent, Willa Davis, has sent this report. The other thing to do is to look at the light. At a hospital in eastern Ukraine, well within range of Russian rockets, British surgeon David Knott calmly carries out a complicated skin graft, saving the leg of a woman who suffered catastrophic injuries in a Russian shelling. But now we need to bandage. But such difficult surgery is beyond many less experienced doctors. Patients were put in the poster row lateral position and a chest opened. Uh, so this was the wrong treatment. Not has been in Ukraine, not just operating, but passing on his depth of knowledge and experience. And you cut it in a longitudinal axis. His foundation runs courses in war zones from Syria to Yemen to South Sudan, and now the war in Ukraine. Well, I know what it's like to be under fire. I know what it's like to be in, a, in a, an operating theatre which is being shelled. You're trying to do your best to try and save the life of the patient in front of you. But here, what we can do here is we can, we can train, I think we've trained 70 surgeons in six days, uh, and they've seen exactly what to do. Some of those here are frontline doctors. Yeah, yeah. Where was this? Where so were you? Yes. OK. Momentarily back from the fighting, yeah. where Ukraine is losing too many soldiers. Others are civilian medics learning new skills because their hospitals are full of people with new kinds of injuries. It's a horrible situation when you see the young guys with the uh, mangled extremities, when, with the shrapnel wounds, with amputation. It's just disaster. The big draw might be David Knott, but the star of the show is Heston, a lifelike medical dummy with 50 separate surgical procedures replicating complicated war wounds. Costing tens of thousands of pounds, it's unique, part of a system that allows Knott and his team to teach life-saving skills. Travelling across Ukraine, it's tiring work for these veteran war surgeons. Their last destination, the frontline city of Kharkiv, battered by Russian shelling with thousands of casualties being treated by overstretched local doctors. I wanted to bring the, the teaching to them. I wanted them to really understand why you should do these sort of operations, how you can do them, and if you do them properly, you'll get a good result. No. Most rewarding for Dr Knott, no. medics here putting okay. complex no, techniques learned on his course again. into practice. Now you do it. In this case, David handing control of a limb-saving operation to the Ukrainian yes, surgeon. It might be more front of class than front line these days for David Knott, but it's the quickest way of passing on his breadth of skills to surgeons here who need them most. Gura Davis, BBC News, Kharkiv.